Hey guys, and welcome back to Tenchu Z. When we last left off, we discovered that some very strange things were happening in this uh, land of Goda that uh, we are living in. Apparently, lots of uh, dodgy stuff going on behind the back, uh, behind in the background. Okay, so when we last left off, we were stray dog slaying, and I don't know what that scroll there means but never mind anyway we have to eliminate the gangsters now which i'm assuming is going to be more rebel scum chilling out uh i think we're gonna make them have a rather bad day or night Ooh, it's a gambling den very very interesting so we have to assassinate tasushi simmer simmer sack of shito okay failure condition death of main character the villain's boss is in the gambling den go there and de deliver due punishment i my lord let's go sakashitu which is extracted from oh the kodama leaf is an addictive drug that drags people into the abyss when they become a slave to its charms the drug is a gangster who presides over the local people and trades uh, with Ichigoa, Rokub's uncle. We must end this evil. Okay, that, fine. So basically, we're killing a load of drugged up crackheads. Cool. This Kodama leaf is big business. Actually, I better not do that. It's probably racist. Yes, big business indeed. Okay, right. Well, let's get a little lay of the land. Okay, looks like a fairly big map. Should have brought some tools of the trade with us, really. Ooh, hey, sir. What you doing? I'm guessing, being a drug den, we're going to have lots of innocent people here. We're going to do our best to stay away from killing innocent people because that's not what we're about. Right, good night, son. You're the first to fall to my blade this night. But you won't be the last. There's like a weird shit stain color all over the screen as well, which is curious. I guess this place stinks. Right, so we've got another dude over there. Okay, cool. So I have been playing a lot of the Halo um, Infinite multiplayer. I say a lot. I've probably, since it came out, played about um, uh, 20 games or so. Maybe a few more than that. And my god, Halo is back. I haven't really played Halo since, uh, or the multiplayer, since uh, Halo 3 was a thing. Didn't really play a lot of Reach. Um, but Halo Infinite multiplayer is fantastic. There's some great weapons. And just, it just seems to work really nicely. Uh, it's very fast, very fluid. The game looks incredible as well. I've been playing it on my Series X and my One X. And my God, if you're still stuck with like a, a, a One X or something, dude, dude. 343, three, they got you. It runs amazing. In fact, <laughs> I can't really see a huge amount of difference between the two, apart from the um, the loading, you know. Because I, I still love my One X. My One X is set up in the front room, uh, in the bedroom, rather. And I love that system. Seriously punching above its weight. Okay. So, what else we got going on here? I actually downloaded Forza Horizon as well. Um, I don't know. I had the itch to play a, a racing game. My friend Robin told me that it's really good. I haven't played Forza since Forza 2 on the 360. So, it's going to be interesting. Hey, friend. Why don't you come over in the corner and be a good lad? Uh-oh. This could be bad. This could be bad. This could be bad. Yep, this is bad. That's fine. Right. Should we go for a single combat? Or should we just get out of here? Let's just get out of here. See you later, fool. 
Eat my fucking ass, dude. Oh, he's on the way. Oh, he's on. Oh, oh, we could get him too. Yeah, he's pretty angry. Yes, no, no slice of ass for you tonight, I'm afraid. Now, we could wait for this chump to cut. Oh, yeah, perfect. Don't even have to wait that long. Hey, dude. You're thinking about Halo Infinite too? I know I am. There we go. I've read Divine Winds as well, which is the uh, latest Halo book that leads literally right up to the events of Halo Infinite. Or at least as far as we know. And my god. <laughs> Halo Infinite. Yeah, there's going to be a lot going on in that game. <laughs> you've got the Banished. You've got uh, remnants of the uh, uh, Covenant. You've got uh, the Spirit of Fire. I'm assuming is going to make an appearance. You have potential Flood Spores. You've also got the Spartan Killers there. There's a lot going on in, in Halo Infinite, and, and I can't wait. I can't wait. You know, it feels so refreshing to be excited for a Halo game. You know, in my opinion, like, Halo 1 was, like, obviously a groundbreaking game. You know, changed the gaming industry forever. Then Halo 2 came out, and that was a pretty fucking good time. Halo 3 came out, and again... Rewrit the rule book for a first person shooter. Halo 4 was. Well, Halo 4 was Halo 4. I enjoyed it. it. You know, the unfortunate thing about Halo 4 is you really need to be reading them books to kind of have a decent grasp of what's going on. Halo 5 was utter dog shit. And I, it's the only one that I've played once and I've never had the itch to go back to. Um. And then we had a Halo ODST as well. ODST was fantastic. You know, a detective story in the Halo universe. Um, sounds really bizarre on paper, but my god, it works so well. Anyway, let's grab this dude. Introduced such a great long list of characters. Halo Wars 1 and 2 were great games as well. Not good strategy games, you know, because they were built around the limitations of game consoles. But they were good games, good single player games. Good games for story. Okay. I'm hoping oof, that we're going to um, see another Halo Wars. But not being funny, I doubt it. I seriously doubt we're going to see another Halo Wars. But I'd like to see more in the Halo um, franchise. Because if you only play the games, you're literally getting... A absolutely minute sample of the universe. There's so much that they could do. Ooh, he's a, the dog's dead. There's so much they could do with the Halo universe. Let's get some big fleet battles going, you know? Especially now, you know, pre, pre-human covenant war. Now that humans have caught up technologically. They could do some really cool stuff. Or even have, um, you know, even set it... Uh-oh. Yeah, set it during the uh, Covenant Human War. Have it so, you know, we're really underpowered and you have to use tactics and brains to win the day. That could be fun. Right, let's go duff this guy in this bush. I don't like this here. I do not like this here. And I think the Tom is over here. Sure, I saw his big floofy hat. There he is. Hey, dude. Oh, good God. You know, you'd never believe we're playing this on the hardest difficulty, would you? Like, stealth in this game is so unbelievably OP. It's kind of coming back to me now. I remember this being a very easy game. Now, whether... Um, it's going to get that much harder. I don't know. I remember for sure challenging parts on this game. But whether that was because, you know, I was damn near 20 years younger, I'm not sure. You know, I like to believe I've got better at games over the years. I'm not saying I have. I'm just saying I like to believe that's the case. 
Ooh, yeah, that was stupid. I thought he was about to turn around. But maybe, just maybe, we can turn that frown upside down and go duff him in. Where are you? Oh, there's a dog there. Oh, no, is that a dog? That looks like a cat, actually. Don't think cats are dangerous. At least that's what they want you to believe. So he comes around there. Right, got ya. Got ya. Come to mama. Yeah, duffing him in around this corner should be fine. Boom. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Your free trial of life has expired. So, definitely looks like a... Oh, great. Lovely. What is that? That is indeed a cat. Cool. All right. Pretty... Ooh, there's a panel there. Might want to open that up. There we go. It's not an instant death panel. Oh, dear. Where's that dog going? Don't really want to kill the dog. I mean, it's just a dog, man. But, might have to. If, maybe if it goes and sleeps over there. Pretty sure they go to sleep after a while. But we only have to get behind it once and give it a quick slice. And it's gone. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right. Not elegant, but it'll do. Oh, right. Okay. So the guards don't actually give two shits or a fuck if the dog's dead. Uh, cool. I mean... You know, rabies was a thing, I suppose. But seriously, seems a seems a little bit cold to me. We almost got spotted there as well. Yeah, I'd be deeply concerned if my dog was, uh, you know, severely hemorrhaging its vital life juices all over the floor in front of me. When, you know, not even 30 seconds prior, it was absolutely fine. Happy. You know, I know it's un not exactly unusual for animals to squirt their bodily fluids everywhere. But in those kind of circumstances, it would be a little strange. Right, let's go duff this guy in. It should be sufficient. Damn it. Just missed that super kill thing uh we'll take your spear uh we will take your spear oh hello hello what a fine night it is to be out taking a stroll beautiful out here isn't it there you go all the leaves you could ever want in that bush right there all the leaves you could ever want, sir. Right, so where are we now? Right. Interesting. So, we haven't even explored half the map. But with any luck, we've killed a considerable amount of dudes. I don't think there's any more out here. No. They're all flatline, Chief. Ninja's pretty bloody deadly. Now, do we want to have a little peek inside? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd like to. See what's going on in here. Definitely wouldn't. Oh, God, hello. Who are you? I guess you're about to be dead. So I guess your name doesn't matter. 
Alright, let's go grab this chump. Oh, the cat is meowing. Oh, you savage. Okay. This... We're playing a dangerous game here. We're just rolling through all of these uh, doors. <laughs> like, this is as dangerous and as stupid as it gets, but, you know. We're not paid for our brains. We're paid for our murdering capability. And apparently we're hyper-lethal this night. Crimson Death is doing her job. It's not a very Japanese name, I know, but, you know. Okay. Any ooh. <clears throat> okay, so there's the drug den there and things are a little bit busy. Alright. Well, we're not gonna antagonize those guys if we don't have to. I guess there's nothing in here. No. So is this the drug den? Ooh. Hello. Hello. That was as close as it gets. You, sir, have made your last mistake. Now, have you left your friend all on his lonesome? And murder the fucking village at this point. Which is fine. You know, that's cool. I'm, I'm happy with that. Ooh. Where's your friend, dude? <gasps> I am just a drug-fueled illusion, my friend. It's all good. You're going to wake up, you're going to feel great. Or something. No, that's not your own crimson bleeding out of your ass. Oh, cheers for the lunch, though. Thanks, man. Well, I think these guys are actually drinking tea. I don't think they're actually, you know, drinking or consuming drugs. Hey, Puss, if I had some food for you, Puss, I would give you something, but I don't have an awful lot of much, I'll be honest. Okay, well, I think we can consider this area pacified. Anything in the shitter? Oh, that definitely needs some maintenance, but apart from that, this area is clear. Now, the government pays us for the bodies we stack, so we should be in the gravy. We're going to be eating well tonight. Especially as our lunch was free. Right, that dude looks like a guard. So he's going to be our target. What else have we got going on down here? Not much, apparently. That'll work. As long as there's nobody patrolling that way. Ah, bollocks. <laughs> I was going to roll up on that guy, but we got interrupted. Because uh, Crimson Death here decided to pick up an item on the floor. You know, she's very frugal like that, which is fine. But when you're trying to murder the fuck out of everybody in the vicinity, we can pick up and scrounge for items afterwards, Crimson, my dear. There we go. Right. Job done. Nasty bit of business, this. At least she didn't have to pay to dye her clothes. I'm assuming that it's just soaked with the blood of her enemies. Yeah, there's a bit of law for you. What are we looking at here? Are you on your own? Dude, that was silly, wasn't it? It was very silly of you. Get the feeling that there ain't many dudes here. Which is fine. All right, now we're in a little bit of unknown territory here, so let's go around the side. Ah, do good night. No drugs for you. Drugs are bad, kids, or something. Okay. Oh, hello. Hello. What are you doing out here, sailor, on such a fine night? Scary, isn't it? How close death can be to you without even realizing. 
Luckily, this guy doesn't have a thought in his head. Looks like this chap's by himself. Because we have run out of... Uh, that, uh, I don't know what you call it. Proximity meter. Proximity meter is clear. Ninja sensors are good. Okay. Got a dog there, but it's a dead dog. You can see the flies on it. You know they're drugged up because, you know, they've got dogs literally dropping dead all around them. And they don't even clear up the bodies. Ah. There's someone in that building. I don't think we can search these buildings. No. No, we can't. I am very disappointed. Still. So where's the main building? We've cleared this place out. I mean, that looks like a main building. But we can't get inside. Curious. Very curious. So where is our target? Just keep glancing at that old proximity sensor. I'm guessing. Sneak into the gambling den. Try a stealth kill through the shuoi. I guess the shuoi is the uh, door. So where is the gambling pit? Where, oh, hang on, is it marked on the map? It's not. Why would it be? Oh. Oh, it's a cat. Right, of course it is. Is this the gambling? Oh. Hey, sailor. Oh, we've got to talk to this chap. Wow, that mission is potentially really quick. You know, if you don't have a thirst for murder. You, what happened to Ichigoa? I bring a message from him. He cannot make it due to pressing business. I'm afraid we'll need to do this another day. Oh. So, what about the Sishu and the Kodama leaf? Uh, uh, well, you see, you dog! Here's your just reward for that message. <laughs> hey! Well then, let's hear the rest. Okay, so I guess we intercepted before shit went down. So he's about to kill his messenger. So it looks like uh, this guy was waiting for some drugs. I got that wrong. I thought they are all huffing their own product. I guess not. Uh, looks like my partner character there killed the guy. Which, come on, man. That was my kill. I like the way we snuck. We both snuck into that um, building. And uh, they had that whole argument and shouting hissy fit without even noticing us standing right behind them. Even the cameraman didn't see us, to be fair, so. Fair play. Right. Not bad. We have a considerable amount of money now. Hey, we can buy new clothing and new items and new skills. Jesus. Right, so I can't remember if I said, but I've also gone back through the game and I got Ninja 5 on... The last mission? No, it wasn't the last mission, was it? It was the mission that we've had to do for ages. So if we have a little look. Ooh, we've got loads more missions now. Okay. So it was gather information. Yeah, we didn't have Ninja 5 on there. So I went back and did it. Right, let's have a look at our new swaggo. Before we move on. Let's take a little look at the skills. Now, I don't know how, but I'm pretty sure eventually you get more points here. Yep, 
Yeah, so we can have a three strike combo or a four strike combo. I think, yeah, that's the fast one, but doesn't do as much damage. Whereas the three strike is slower, but does more damage, I think. Something like that. Um, so... We only have sense. Now, what was that one? Detect vitality. Yeah, it's kind of shit. Okay. So we can get shadow. Vanish in a puff of smoke. Throwing enemies into confusion. And then move behind them to strike. Sword must be drawn to use. Uh, that sounds cool. Yeah, so we can create up to two rice balls in the middle of a mission. Your defense is what's making them. Allows you to detect moving enemies. Cannot sense enemies who are standing still. Uh, fuck yeah. Is one acquired? Oh, we're just going to get... Max that bad boy out. So we only need 30 agility for that too. Uh, shadow sounds cool. Display command. So that is left trigger and X immediately before being attacked. Uh, we can... Yeah, we can have that. Sure. Shadow 1. It's expensive stuff. But I think that's going to be pretty useful. Venom. Poison attacks no longer affect you. Didn't we buy these last time? We'll get Venom. Because it's just... One of those things that's just handy, I guess. Rice. Oh, recover. Performs a recovery. Yeah. Allows you to temporarily cling to the ceiling. You have ah, right. Okay. I thought that was a skill. We're a little bit low on cash right now. So we won't bother with that one. Okay. Okay. Right. So let's have Venom. So we can resist poison. Secret arts. So that one is Shadow. Might have to practice that one a little bit. Um, ears 3. That is going to be pretty interesting. So, that's the right button, left trigger, and X. That could be powerful. That could be very powerful. Well, I'm sure we're going to have fun with that in the next mission. Now, what clothing have we got? Oh, we've got new... We've got more hair? Okay, cool. Sure. We'll have some look at some hair. Don't know how we're going to get hair transplanted into us, but... You know, the Japs were very ahead of uh, the curve. Ooh, plate... Oh, we can get plate armor? Fuck yes, we're getting plate armor. Damn straight, son. I like the heavy armor. Always like the heavy armor. Whenever I play a game, I'm always the heavy. Big, humongous weapon. Usually slow moving. Tons of armor. Get some gloves. We're almost strapped for cash. Ooh. Yeah, we're 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 hurting for my oh no, we've got sheaths as well. I bought this stuff. I swear I bought this stuff. Did I not buy the stuff? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Alright, cool. Now, let's have a little look. Change clothing. So, what hair have we got now? Oh, actually, okay. I like that. Don't mind that, actually. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> uh, nah. Hmm. That kind of works. I like it. So, face, yeah, it was just cloth, outerwear, so plate. Ooh. Well, I mean, it looks kind of more like chainmail, actually, but. Plate? What's, what's plate about that? Am I missing something? Plate? Are you sure? Camo, really. Really. Is this fucking Metal Gear Solid? Uh, I kind of don't mind that. 
I kind of don't mind that either. Plate. That is not fucking plate armor. But I prefer that. Mm, I don't know. I do kind of like that. I mean, at least that looks like she's got chainmail on underneath. Alright, let's just go with this. Didn't we unlock something else? We got more arms, didn't we? Alright, well, I don't mind the... Oh, yeah. don't mind those, actually. Not too bad. Don't really go with anything. Uh, we've got our pants in the way, haven't we? Can we not take these off? Alright, okay. We're not wearing string. Uh, I mean... A lot of this clothing, I think it's fair to say, is just ass. Like, that, to me, just looks so much better. Right, we'll have that. We will have... We'll have our... Is it those? We'll have our red trousers back. Um... Hmm... I think we're going to go back to that. Because that, to me, just looks better. Now, one thing that might be nice. Uh, I mean... The gloves are kind of interesting. But that just looks cooler to me. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Yep, okay. So that new clothing that we just, like, pretty much splurged all of our cash on was a steaming load of old goat shit, but that's the way this game is, really. I mean, from software's character creators, in my opinion, have always been a bit ass. But, hey, I mean, at least this is DLC. Eh? 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 Unlockable cosmetics as you play the game. Huh? Remember that? I remember that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.